study material for your uh, convenience and reading okay so let's start this drama this drama is all my sons by author miller author miller is an american playwright actually he was not is he died uh, very uh, let's say uh, in the 60s and 70s this i have to see the date he was popular for his plays especially which he was writing for broadway theater company see when we start reading plays i gave you introduction in the last class that we should also think about its performance how it can be performed on stage there can be certain limitations restrictions that that disrupts the performance of play and these playwrights they always keep in mind especially the stage setting and then they give his speeches they give his stage directions then they gave complete shape to their drama so broadway theater was for which author miller was writing his plays author miller was one of the let's say greatest american playwrights of the 20th century especially you can say post war situation world war 2 ended in 1945 and after that plays of author miller became very popular even before he was writing a few of his plays but they did not become as popular as two of his plays one is this all my sons and the other is uh, the death of a salesman these two dramas which are very popular and written by arthur miller but the core of these two dramas is basically the theme is american dream you might have read the concept of american dream in economics if you are students of economics or you would be familiar with this idea this american dream idea started in the beginning of the 20th century when people started thinking about a very bright future through trade or business or insurance or so many things like the stock exchange that was working at that time it was giving huge profit it was a time of over industrialization industrial revolution started in the 19 sorry 18th century and it became very popular or very established in the 19th century so industries emerged in the 19th century there were so many industries factories people were working there and then the concept of banking started so when the concept of banking started then concept of loan and investment started i am not going much in detail i am just giving you certain facts and outline how the things happen so this investment project that happened it brought opportunities for people to earn money and invest into share markets and then reap the profits if companies are making profits so the investors are going to make profits at the same time there were other let's say uh, schemes through which you could become rich and that scheme was insurance when people were dying so many accidents and calamities were happening so insurance policies also came so in a nutshell this economic boom of industrial revolution till the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century promised a very bright future those people who were earning and they had little saving they wanted to invest and get huge margins and when this scheme of what you call insurance came people started exploiting the let's say terms and conditions i just give you one one reference of another drama by arthur miller that is death of a salesman the protagonist is willy loman his name is willy loman and he has an insurance and that insurance ensures that after death of willy loman a certain huge amount of money would be given to the members of the family because his son is not able to establish his own business so willy thinks that he will commit suicide or he will die of certain reasons and the insurance amount the money will be given to his son and he would be able to live a beautiful life so it's a dream dream that you are working hard you are investing investing money and after a period of time you will get a huge margin for example if you are doing investments in mutual fund or in share market they give you assurance that they will give you profit of 10 to 15% annually 
on the other hand when you are doing trading or you are doing investment in share markets directly like you are buying shares and selling shares they also give you a kind of let's say road map that if you invest 1000 rupees per month after 10 years you would be a billionaire so it's a dream in which you would be a rich person but in reality whether you are really going to become a rich person or not that's another case and then comes a condition in 20th century when this idea was booming like people are investing in share markets and they are earning profits some people got profit there is no denial of this fact but many people just they were investing money and they were investing and they did not get any profit then comes world war 1 whole money and whole production was directed into one side when there is a war in a country demand and supply chains are disrupted come on so what is produced in factories is basically those things which are in high demand when there is war there are there are guns arms ammunition or other weaponry which is used in war is highly in demand and the prices of all these products go high and most of the companies which which keep on making goods for lifestyle good for let's say uh, daily use or food products or so many things their demand just falls down and the demand for weapons goes high and then those people who have invested money in weapon uh, companies which are making weapons they are going to earn huge profit and those people who have invested money in lifestyle goods or food products or all these things they are going to incur losses so world war 1 showed people that this is the way how economy works demand and supply forces are going to decide how much profit you are going to get and how much losses you are going to incur and there is no control on it being investors you can't do anything then comes the great depression of 1930s when whole economy of europe and america was suffering huge losses you can say supply was there but there was no demand so lack of demand brought that there is uh, sorry this is uh, called a great depression and in this great depression they were uh, just moving i mean removing all the employees so so many employees were fired and they because complete companies were not making profit and only few companies were running which were making arms and ammunition all these things the rest of the companies were just incurring losses so people went for unemployment or just removing all the working staff those people who thought that they will be earning money and they will be investing money into share markets or in different portfolio they they felt set back their dreams were shattered from here only the idea of american dream starts taking shape like in america especially people thought that they are working they are employed they had a salary and they are investing money and after the maturity time comes especially for the time being they have bought the shares or policies they will be billionaires or millionaires or they will be rich people but because the depression has occurred and wars have created this situation then what is happening nobody is getting profits so there is another way of getting profit doing manipulations indulging yourself or oneself into corruption you might have heard the name of one economist his name is john daniel keynes if you belong to economics subject or you study economics so keynes was at that time one of the greatest thinkers especially in the field of economy and he gave the idea that you employ people even if you are not making huge production but start moving the production cycle like you just i am giving you a layman example if there is no demand then you can't go for unemployment or just removing all the employees so ask them to just just dig the pot just ask them to dig a pit a larger pit on the day one and fill it up on the second day again on the third day they are just digging it up and on the fourth day they again they are filling it up so it means that the employment is in circulation people are not frustrated okay this depression is not coming 
our government should take some initiative so government model of employment has started coming so people went for permanent jobs and all these things so those people who are working for the government they got certain kinds of assurance that they will work for this period of time this will be their salary this will be their package this will be increment on which we are right now believing into but this model of keynesians economic uh, let's say development and growth did not last longer in 30 40 years when capitalism controlled uh, american economy keynes's idea became rudimentary or became obsolete but why keynes is very important keynes's idea is very important because he gave the model so which american economy should restart it should it could just build up and engage the employees for certain kind of work and in that way this world war second and certain phases of world war second especially in the post world war effect american economy survived there is one great novel and that novel is written by john steinbeck and the title of the novel is the grave of the rat so if you read that novel it talks about how people got unemployed and how their their emis their insurance schemes I mean, all kinds of loans they could, they had taken to live a good life, especially because they were working people. It all got disrupted, and through this disruption, due to failure of the whole economic model, people went through depression. Many people committed suicide because they could not see the members of the family suffering from, uh, let's say, lack of food, lack of necessary, let's say, uh, items that they daily consume. and at the same time they were failing to meet the requirements of banks that they were failing to just submit their uh, emis or loans and all these things so it was very difficult time and in this difficult time there is one family i come to this drama all my sons so <clears throat> this family is the family of divas uh, sorry just let me just confirm the name Okay, so it's a family of Kellers, Joe Keller, Kate Keller, Chris Keller, and Larry Keller. These are the four members of the family. So Joe Keller was running a factory in which he was supplying cylinders, basically fuel cylinders, to the army of America, to the Air Force. And because it was high demand of arms and ammunition products, and Joe Keller was running that factory. he tried to get huge profit by selling faulty cylinders and these faulty cylinders could be produced at low cost but because demand was so high and he also wanted that he should make sorry more profit as compared to he uh, compared to what he usually was getting so he sold cylinders to the army they were faulty they were employed into business by the army and 21 pilots died of the plane crash because of these faulty cylinders and one of the pilots was the son of joe keller himself his name was larry and you know when larry dies before day one day of his death he realizes that the cylinders that was sold to the air force which were employed into the battalion in which larry keller was Uh, let's say flying those fighter jets he came to know that those cylinders was were in, uh, supplied by his own father and he could also have tried to get leave and save his own life but he decides that he should not do that instead he should go and fight the war even if he is going to die he thought that he should give a lesson to his father by dying or committing suicide it was a kind of suicide that larry committed because he knew that cylinders are faulty and they are not going to be uh, let's say working properly and he may die but still he chose to die and it happened 21 uh, uh, pilots died when they were flying these fighter jets and then there was another partner in this business his name was george deaver he was blamed for everything 
for supplying these cylinders for approving this uh, import of cylinders from other companies and in that way joe killer manages to uh, escape from this persecution so he was exonerated like he was not punished for the crime but he was actually at the forefront of the crime he was involved in that so george dever was in jail because he was let's say he was proved that he is the main culprit of all this this faulty cylinder supply to the army and this person joe killer he saves himself and at in the beginning people think that actually the story is like that but one of the sons of uh, this george dever he starts exploring what was the reason who was the actual culprit so he meets his father in jail and he comes to know that his father was innocent and actually joe killer was the real culprit but because this crime was proved and joe killer also did not want to go further and escalate the problem because the divide between the two families was moving up, uh, let's say happening and the daughter in of dever family in dever she was going to marry another son chris uh, killer of uh, this joe uh, let's say killer family so he wanted that these two family families will be united when there will be marriage of in and chris but before chris in was in love with larry and she was going to marry her him for her and the mother she also knew especially kate keller she knew that larry is alive she felt that larry is alive but she did not know that but after 3 years when this thing goes on and the conflict starts happening in wanted that she is going to marry chris keller and when she was going to marry chris keller for the mother kate it was a kind of confirmation that her son larry is dead so she did not want that ian should marry her another son chris so kate and joe have two sons larry one who has died already in the in the let's say plane crash and another son his name is chris who has survived he was also a soldier and he has survived he has come back because faulty cylinders were not sub- uh, supplied to his battalion so he is there and dever family Joe, De- uh, Joe Keller and George Dever, they were good friends. They were running the business, but the whole responsibility of supplying these faulty cylinders comes to George uh, Dever. So he is in jail. But Ann is the daughter of George Dever. She is in love. She was in love with uh, Larry, and now she has transferred her love to Chris. So at the end of the drama, uh, this girl Ann comes to reveal the letter. that she received from larry one day before that uh, plane was going to crash and larry has explained everything and this letter was given to the mother kate and through that letter jo also comes to know that the crime that his com- he has committed especially has cost the life of his own son and at the end of the drama he realizes that all those 21 soldiers they could have been his own sons as well because they were also the sons of somebody else and in the way his own son died and the whole family is now fragmented whole relationship between two good friends is also now com- com- now coming to the end so he starts realizing that all these 20 were when soldiers who died in plan- uh, plane crash they were actually also more like his own son and from there comes the title of the drama all my sons so these 21 soldiers are supposedly sons of joe killer as they belong to a good family and they are loved ones into their family so what what actually happens why joe killer supply these faulty cylinders because he had the idea of becoming rich giving a very bright uh, let's say future or facilities you can say much facilities to the members of his family when he was confronted by the question why he supplied faulty cylinders when he knew that they are faulty and they are not going to work and they are going to blast or crash and they will kill people so he gives one simple explanation he says that whatever he did he did for his family so there were people at that time 
they were thinking that whatever wrong they are doing with the country or the nation or for anybody with anybody else they are doing for the benefit of their own family and this was the fault of american dream american dream emphasized the importance of family over the important let's say less importance or maybe cheating or maybe corruption with other people in society and so happens in another drama that i told you death of a salesman in which he is going to get the insurance money by committing suicide which is not part of this policy that if you commit suicide if at present if you take a, take an insurance and you are going to commit suicide and you think that after committing suicide the assured money will be given to the nominee then your policy will be null and void there are certain conditions in which if you die your policy will be cancelled for example if you commit suicide the money will not be given to the member uh, to the person who is the nominee if you are suffering from certain problems or disease and still you are doing that activity in which that disease can escalate to the extent that you can die for example if you have breathing problem and you want to just go and just climb to the peak of the mount everest and you die there then your policy will be cancelled so the way for the betterment of the family these characters are exploiting the policies they are manipulating with their own ethics their moral responsibilities they are prioritizing family and what family if family comes to know that the father or the guardian has committed this crime or this immoral activity for the betterment of the family they are not going to accept that member so what happens jo at the end of the drama he commits suicide he takes a gun and he fires at himself which happens behind this stage not on this stage and then kiss the, the another son of jo keller he start thinking that actually he revealed the letter taken from ain diver and he gives his gives it to his mother and then to his father and that is why jo keller has committed suicide so his mother says that no don't think about that his mother is quite let's say emotional but at the same time quite pragmatic quite practical she warns her son chris not to take the responsibility of the suicide of his father on himself only so even if he i mean jo keller came to know about the death of larry by the letter that he received from chris he is now let's say again removed from the responsibility of guilt so in nutshell if we wind up this story i have given you just a small outline of this drama so if you come to know there are certain things there is a thing that there is family responsibility which sometimes or especially in the case of this drama and the another drama by author miller is the highest responsibility family responsibility at the top ladder like people are going to do anything moral immoral legal illegal criminal or let's say justified for the family second thing is that there is the nation and there is the family and when one is to choose nation and the family it is the automatic choice that one chooses family first and nation later there is also conflict in this drama especially of the public life and personal life so when it comes to public life and personal life everybody is trying to align with the public so pub personal interest and one is going to sacrifice the welfare or ignore the welfare of the public uh, safety or let's say public concerns so <clears throat> how we look at this drama because it is started at the time and the drama starts in, in this drama especially starts in the beginning of 1946 and runs up to 1947 something one year's story has been told in this drama so it goes back three years something around 1943 44 from where actually the war happened and the supply of cylinders happened 
21 uh, pilots die. So in that way we find that its story of around 3 to 4 years. And in these 3 to 4 years we have seen that from being a successful businessman, becoming a corrupt person and then fragmentation into the family and the committing suicide by the protagonist, Joe Keller, we see this transition. And this transition is marked by the dream. The dream that there would be a bright future. But this dream has deceived them. So whenever we think of American dream, we always think of a negative aspect. What is that negative aspect? That is the illusion. That is deception. A kind of disillusionment you can say. You, you thought that you have a very good dream, but that dream never come to become reality. So American dream was much like that. It promised that there will be a bright future, there will be success, there will be assurance, there will be wealth, money, prestige, power, it can be anything. But every time it resulted into negative repercussions. People failed to find the success that was promised by this kind of dream. So even this drama also focuses that whatever Joe Keller was thinking and with whatever confidence he performed all those legal and illegal activities and on what grounds he prioritized the family or nation, it all has failed. It has not resulted into the way he thought of. And the failure is not in the terms of money. The failure is in terms of everything. The collapse of the whole family system or the complete disillusionment of the understanding of the family or society or the let's say whole nation. It means that Joe Keller did not understand the value of the family. Even if he justifies that whatever he did, he did it for his family itself. Because he could not save family at the end of the drama. He, he supplied 40 cylinders to army, his own son dies. Even if his own son has died, the fact does not remain hidden or it does not remain like it is not affecting the family later. Again, the, this fact, this incident or tragedy is going to affect the family negatively even further. So what happens? The mother who is thinking of that the son is alive and he will come back very soon, she has to bear the loss, the loss of her own son. At the same time, the girl who was in love with Larry, especially the son who is dead, she has to wait quite long and then she has to make it clear that her boyfriend, especially with whom she was going to marry, is not coming back. She had to transfer her feelings from one person to another. Even if that boy, another boy happens to be the brother of her old fiance. But still this transfer of emotions is not so easy. On the other hand, the brother, especially Chris, the daughter, especially son you can say, son of Joe Keller, who was thinking that Joe Keller is the ideal father. Maybe I did not mention in this story timeline or outline. Till Joe Keller, sorry, till Chris Keller comes to know that through that later uh, receipt from AIM, that his brother Larry died because of the mistakes, because of the faults that his father did, he was thinking that his father is the ideal father. His father is the best person in the world. And he believed that whatever goodness is there in the family, whatever wealth and success is there in the family, it's because of Joe Keller. Till that moment, Joe Keller was very successful in maintaining the family order or confidence of the family. But as Chris comes to know that his father himself was involved in the suicide or in the death of his own son or his, I mean Chris brother, brother now he starts hating his father. So the love he got because of all his hard work that he did in the days when he was honest, he has lost it. And at the end what he has to do, he has to commit suicide. So, can you imagine a family in which such kinds of upheavals happen? 
because of one small mistake one ambition one kind of greed that is going to devour the life or peace harmony beauty of the whole family this is what happens in this drama so i just put this discussion here and i believe that you will be reading the drama and one by one i shall start taking points and discuss them in further classes okay so i end this discussion here